Oh, hello. Hi. What's up, AD? Bean, come back. Bean, come back. Come on Bean's back. Up. It's Ned from the Try Guys. And I'm Ariel. Welcome to the Fulmer family household. <laughs> This is our main living space. Open concept, super yeah. cool, very California. So this house was built in the 1920s. It was very, very old, but a lot of the stuff we were able to keep, we kept the floors, we kept, that's about it. We just kept the floors. <laughs> we completely transformed it. This room used to be like five little tiny rooms. There's a wall here. There's a wall here. And everything was like super tiny and cramped. So we knocked down all the walls. I used the sledgehammer for the first time and then let someone else do all the rest of it. Our architect actually wanted to put it like all the way open, but then the... Uh, we asked him to put in a stripper pole. Yeah. It was really important they, they to us. They made us put in a stripper pole. To hold up the ceiling. For earthquakes. The inspector came by and he's like, yeah, no, this is too wide. It's not gonna work, but now... Right next to the front door, we have this beautiful built-in bookshelf. We did build it ourselves. We did. These are IKEA cabinets that we installed and then big old pieces of wood. That I hauled these in my car. We turns out them it's white. like super heavy and we probably should have gotten the cheap wood and just painted it white, yeah. but it's sturdy. Yeah. Ariel individually picked out all of the red books so that it was only like cool blue tones. I didn't even know that he noticed that. I noticed. It's pretty cool. I also have slipped in some awards here. I've got my Streamy Awards because Try Guys hosted the Streamies the same year that we won Show of the Year, which is also the same year that we left BuzzFeed and started an independent company. So it was we a moved lot. into the it was house. Big year. Ned won Show of the Year, started a new company. We had a baby. Yes. Yes. So. I would recommend doing those all separately in the future. This is our board game cabinet. Oh, we probably shouldn't open that because I hid a bunch of stuff in there. Oh yeah, sure did. This is our bar area. We're mostly wine drinkers. I wish that you would stop opening the cabinets. Oh, they're cool though, they're cool. In the very back of our liquor cabinet, we keep this very special bottle of wine that we served at our wedding. So we just celebrated our seven year wedding anniversary. Maybe when we hit 10, we'll open it. Maybe when we hit 20. And we put it way back in the back, just in case when we're having a party, somebody doesn't open it by accident. Ruin our marriage. Well, no. It would ruin our bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move to the other part of our room. It's not a huge room, so there's... <laughs> but it used to be way smaller, so it feels really big. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, exactly. So the house is an old Spanish house, and this had, like, brick in front of it, and it was really not that good looking. So we had some leftover tile from the bathroom actually, and I just decided to throw it in here. This is ceramic tile. They're really thick tiles. I thought they kind of matched the look and feel of yeah, things. Yeah, everything's got like a modern Spanish style vibe. I know what I'm talking about. You, you are acting like I've coached you to say those <laughs> things. <laughs> This, this is, is like our family area. This is where we spend most of our time. This, it truly is. Yeah, we play on the floor with Wes. Yeah. Super comfortable couch. It is actually a super comfortable couch. That's Bean's spot. Forever, because Bean, yep, there. Perfect. There he goes. Wow. He's got a lot of spots around the house. Yeah, the couch is from Interior Define, uh, custom sized for this space. I mean, what can you say about the perfect couch? Ariel designed most of the house, all of the house. I designed like the TV area, wall mounted it, drilled a little thing down the back so like all the cords are hidden. Where are they? I can't see them. Crazy. They're all back there. These are Wes's books. These are Wes's toys. And then these are daddy's toys. <laughs> we wanted the kitchen to be a part of the whole room. And that's actually why we didn't do a dining room because we wanted this to be very much like a relaxed kind of loungy space. We wanted the kitchen to feel like it was part of the living room so you could be watching TV while you're preparing something. Mm -hmm. Like this can open up to the table there. Everything's kind of like has this like connectiveness. Yesterday when we were prepping for this, we watched Mandy Moore's AD shoot. I saw her waterfall um, island and I was like, we're doing that. <laughs> Really? I swear to God. You got inspired by Mandy Moore's <laughs> yeah, house. Yeah. There you go. 
Yeah, it's uh, we like have what you would either. call the Mandy Moore Waterfall yeah, Marble we're calling Island. Yeah, uh, Mandy Moore is we mid-century walked in and modern we said, island. Give us a Mandy. <laughs> and I said, huh? Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> My Instagram is like all just architectural stuff and interior design stuff. Yeah. And I was really tired of white cabinets. So I just wanted something different. These are actually IKEA boxes, and then we got semi-handmade doors on them. And Trick. Um, yeah, yeah. You get like the special made uh, like doors and Cheap cabinets insides, and stuff. Fancy yeah. outsides. Yeah. Look at this. So good. Well, Bam. you keep opening stuff. But you got the slow close. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, I'm a rich person now. I have slow closed drawers. What? So I put these in myself, didn't actually know how to do it. And they're all a little bit tippy. We were in Santa Barbara when one of the earthquakes happened. So we sent Ned's sister to just make sure the house was okay. Yeah. But then she was like, actually, but your open shelving, all the shelves are a little tilted downward and I was like no 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 that's that's completely normal that's just how they are <laughs> no we installed it like that <laughs> I'm really into baking bread so uh, these are all my bread books these are all my bread making supplies see this is my special flour it's, it's just normal flour but it's you know special to me <laughs> it's my bread scale gotta use a scale BAM put it in the bread basket oh did I just get flour everywhere no. oh boy this used to be a wall, but now we turned it into one giant door so that when we have a party, we can open the entire thing up like this. And since California is nice weather all the time, all of a sudden, it's like the room is that much bigger. More living space. Yeah. This is our deck. It's very special because Ariel's dad, with a little help from us, Mostly Ariel's dad. We built this deck ourselves, and actually the night that Ariel went into labor, she we, was working on the deck. We had been building the deck. Yeah. It used to be a patio, so we installed these concrete little supports, and there's little braces everywhere. Yeah, actually we had an inspector come, and he said that we way, way overbuilt the deck. So... Look when, how solid so that if, is. If there's, like a really, if there's like a really bad earthquake, the house will fall yep. and the deck will stay. That's right. In addition to building the deck, we also completely redid the backyard because it was basically a dirt pile when we bought the house. Just like the front yard. Yes. Have a nice garden path here. Yeah. Actually, our lawn has a, a, a fungus. We are in a war against the brown patch. So, I think it's because we overwater it. If anybody knows how to fix this, um, comment below. Yeah. When we were designing this part of the house, we specifically left it blank so that we could use it as an outdoor projection screen. So we'll have outdoor movie nights where we'll have a projector, and it'll just blow it right on this wall. Looks pretty good. This is Wes's play area. Pretty sure these can also support weight. Yep. Ooh. Bucket seat still works. <laughs> We wanted to make a garden. Yes. And, uh, and we planted like maybe eight different plants. Um, and they all started out about this big. Yeah. Um, and now. And now. Check it out. Oh my goodness. So we built a vegetable garden, but we got really excited about all the plants that we could put in there. So we put in all the plants. We just put in everything. Bam. Oh. Yellow squash. Maybe it's a little diseased. Spinach. We got zucchinis spinach. back here. Cabbage. That's, yeah, that's Want some the fresh cabbage. cabbage. We have this, watermelon. Look at this. It's gonna be we a, have little, a little tiny watermelon. Little tiny watermelon. This is a butternut squash. Yeah. Everything oh, here's just... something that's ready. We're also growing serrano peppers. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. That's beautiful. Let's try it. Oh my God, that's spicy. Oh my. <laughs> Ah! Oh, that's a spicy pepper! <laughs> oh my god, that was a mistake! Let me just get some of this. Oh. You wanna try it? No! <laughs> Here's another pepper. You guys think this one's spicy? Go for it. We'll see. No, that's a terrible idea. Let's go, <laughs> let's go see the guest room! Cut to the next scene! <laughs> this is the guest bedroom slash office. Now that we have like a house with a guest bedroom, we're like, yeah, yeah. come stay. Anytime we have people over, we're like, 
try and give them lots of drinks and we're like, do you want to stay over? Do you, you can spend the night if oh, you yeah. want. Do you want, like, it's cool. You're it's sweet. Cool. You're really sweet that you said we, because it's mostly Oh me. yeah, that's, that's Ariel's I thing. just really like <laughs> force feeding people booze so that yeah. they will stay at our house. We recently discovered parachute bed linens. This is the cloud quilt. I feel like I'm selling parachute super, sheets right super now. Super soft. But oh my God, <laughs> seriously though. And the, the founder, she's a woman and her name is Ariel. You gotta love that. This window, you know, we redid as part of the renovation. It used to be like a lot of little tiny windows. I now was gonna it's clean this. A before. big window. Oh yeah. It's, it's so big. I think the bugs think it's not there. Yeah. We did a try guys try pottery video, and I made this bowl and gave it to Ariel, and she liked it so much. So she I displayed it, in the, it in the guest room. That's a big win for me. This is the guest bathroom. You might recognize this tile from the fireplace. This is where we'll do bath time. You know, it's just a normal bathroom, but when it's bath time, it turns into a party bathroom. Wesley. Hey, Wes. Hi. 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 Who's that? This is Wesley's room. Do you want to show us your toys? Yeah, we they're a actually nice piano. toys. Piano. As we try and get a toy every place that we go or we visit, so we have a little uh, London double-decker bus here. We got a little space shuttle because we visited NASA. Whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we, oh, we got a koala. Yeah, a koala from our trip to Australia, uh, where Wes met a kangaroo. Oh, we got this guy. Triceratops. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the mascot of the Try Guys is a Triceratops. <laughs> and so uh, we, you know, have a little stuffed animal for a Triceratops. He's really cute. All right, Wes, where else should we go? Should we go into Mommy and Daddy's room? Let's go to the left. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. So this is the last room in the house. This is our bedroom. Welcome to the master bedroom. This was an addition. It was originally built in the 1960s. We tore it all down and then we expanded it out this way into the yard. We installed a walk-in closet, which Wes is now exploring and will maybe bring something out. Oh, a toothbrush! <laughs> toothbrush! <laughs> Who knows what we got in there? I also really like amber interiors and she does this thing with black four poster beds and I was like, I need that. I mean, it makes me feel like a princess. It makes yeah. the bed feel even bigger. Thank you. Bean. <laughs> so you <gotta> have be... <laughs> Teeth. Teeth. Do I get that one too? Can I have that one too? Um, no, okay. These chairs are cool because you can chill here if you don't want to go to bed, but Wes has figured out how to climb onto the chairs and then onto the bed. I love uh, this piece. This is a decorative wall hanging piece by an artist named Jure. It's got like this starburst design. We think of it as good luck. It was, this was one of the first pieces we got when we moved into our new home in LA. And I remember thinking it was like super expensive at the time. This is like something really nice that we can have in our bedroom, make it look nice. And we've had it ever since. Then if you want to go out to the deck, we've got these double doors here. Boom. It's usually very sunny, so we actually will often keep yeah. these just like totally high. Just They're like, like super heavy and uh, keep out all the light, but make also it make it nice and cool in here. But for, you know, the visual, it also looks pretty nice. Yeah. This is a photo from our wedding night. It's my favorite photo that we have. We ran out into the street when it was a red light and we kissed each other really quickly. Our photographer was right there with us. There's a man looking out the window of his cab and smiling because he's watching two people That's kissing each other in the middle, middle of the street. Of the street. <laughs> and this is where all the red books went. Here we are in our master bathroom. This we completely designed ourselves. Yes. We've always dreamed of having a two person walk in shower. So we made two we different showers. We have always dreamed of that. You have it? I was super excited about it. I was very into the idea of having like a shower bench. We got a little piece of marble. The tile is from the same place as the tile over there. Mm -hmm. I really liked the idea of having like 
tile that went into the shower. I thought that was oh, really yeah. cool because it just made idea. the whole bathroom look really mm -hmm. big. This whole house was like a dream house for us. So even yeah. having any of this, being able to design the house of our dreams was pretty cool. Thanks for coming Bye. over, you guys. Bye. That was our house tour. It's nap time for Wes, so Bye, we'll see you next time.